Hey FDM Transtastic, how are you doing? Uh, I'm Julian and today is Sunday. Well, not actually because I'm not recording this on the same day. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. I went on a party uh, yesterday and I, I guess I screamed a lot or something because my voice it, my voice is deeper than usual. Which is also funny because today is my four months on tea. So this is my voice four months on tea, except it's not. It's my voice four months on tea and a day after part partying hard. Today, actually, the day you are watching this is Jan no December December thirty first New Year's Eve. So I hope you 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 are having a great New Year's Eve. Right now, the topic is um, are dating preferences uh, bigoted in any way? Specifically, can dating preferences be transphobic? <sighs> and I I'm not sure what my opinion on it is. Mm. Because for me, it's it's a very broad thing. I think that there are there are moments where where it can be transphobic, and other instances where it is not. It's not necessarily transphobic. Let me explain. I think that if somebody says this, and this 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 is a specific quote, I think that if somebody says, "I would not sleep with a trans person." That can imply many different things, and, it, and there can be a context with this person. It is being discriminatory, probably, and it's being, being judgmental and ignorant. But transphobic, I it, it, transphobic probably, but in a, in, a, in a degree, saying that this person, this particular hypothetical situation, it's transphobic. It's not the same as, as to say that they're one step away from committing a, a crime. A hate crime or or they are the, the same person that would say something like transgender people should not use uh, the restrooms in public spaces all of these instances where we um, have any kind of relation with other human beings uh, as transgender people is going it, 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 it's very broad you know, there's people that's going that will say, "Oh, I would not, I would not sleep with a with a trans man because if they are not, if they are not passed up." And and that one thing is, it's kind of not even just transphobic, but it's kind of really rude. <laughs> I don't know. If, if somebody said that to me, if you don't wanna, if you are going, if you're willing to say openly, I would never date a transgender person. I would not sleep with a transgender person. I'm not even gonna try that. Is, so I guess we are in the same page here. Go f yourself. Uh, but when I see the debate, the one thing that my mind always goes to is just in one context. In what context are people allowed to have feelings or attraction to transgender people? Only when they are bisexual. Only when they are also trans. I think I said my piece. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great uh, New Year's Eve. Honestly, uh, from the bottom of my heart, Happy New Year to you. Happy 2018, and I will see you next week. Bye. How do I stop recording?